at the annual state conference for school superintendents. Wallace Alviar was there. They don't just advocate basketball. They teach it. And they drill it. And they, they discipline it. They have high expectations. The Reverend Jesse Jackson says coaches see gold in the ghettos and challenged each of the more than 600 superintendents present to adopt what he called the coach complex. In the summertime, the coach goes to the neighborhoods and got to keep you eligible. I care. If you, if you just hold on and follow this discipline, I can get you in USC next year. If you just hold on, I can get you in junior college until you can get your grades up. You're talking about making some noise and start right now. Now let's get busy. Greg Lockridge is the kind of coach Jackson speaks of is that if I expect a lot from them, I'll get a lot from them, and I'm very demanding. Uh, I learned a long time ago from my mother is that the busier that I keep them, the less likely I'll have of losing them. Many of the players on the Seaside High School basketball team have come a long way under his direction. Oh, he's tough, but that's a good thing about being a coach. You have Guy Clendenin is one of them. A year ago, Guy couldn't see much of a future beyond the streets. Now he's planning on college. He says the coach opened the door. When he first came here, he told me he could send me to college. And I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, because a lot of coaches do that little flimsy say stuff. But he's serious. He got me letters sent. I've asked him to do a lot of things this year, and he's responded to them all positively. And, and he'll go places in life. He'll do some wonderful things, and he'll come back and contribute to the community. And that's what I would like for all my kids. I'd it's the kind of success Jackson speaks of and the kind superintendents want for all students. In Monterey, Wallace Alviar, Central Coast News. And Jesse Jackson also called on the parents to be a tough coach in the home. And we'll have more on that here at 6.30. The Spartans of Seaside High enter tonight's playoff contest with Lindbrook of San Jose, firing on all cylinders. The Spartans have won six straight games and have averaged over 85 points a contest. First-year coach Greg Lockridge says the success has been a result of everything coming together at the right time. It's a growing process, you know, becoming comfortable with the system as well as with each other, starting to understand who's who, what's what, and, uh, and uh, you know, just, just putting it all together. Seaside will not try and fool their opponents. The Spartan game plan is to pour in as many points as they can, and rarely can the opposition keep up. That does not mean they ignore defense. In fact, it is their defense that sparks their offense. We like to, uh, to, to provide a lot of pressure, put a lot of points on the board. And, and uh, you know, uh, we can only do that through great defense. We've got to uh, play hard, play aggressive, try and control the boards and keep the game uh, to our pace. Success in any sport has a lot to do with team attitude. And Coach Lockridge has passed that on to his players. It's just... A belief you know if they believe then they can accomplish anything and I think we've done a good job at making them believe that confidence will make Seaside a tough team to beat in the playoffs Todd Romero Action News 8